have some slowing further west on the I-10 eastbound. This is right around Tonopah. Uh, just about an hour and a half ago, we had an accident out there, and it ended up shutting down the eastbound lane so a medical helicopter could land. That kind of gives you the idea of the seriousness of this accident. So still seeing a little bit of slowing now, but we are hearing that one lane is back open. In fact, Gibby Para just arrived on the scene, and he's going to give us all the details from what he's learned out there. Gibby, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Heidi. Yeah, the good news here is that both lanes are back open, and here's why. Let me show you this accident. They actually have both wreckers out here working to get these vehicles out of here. Now, the early reports, as you mentioned, shut down I-10 because they had... Uh, what they said were about five patients out here, so they had to air evac one of them. One of them being a one-year-old, and according to some scanner traffic we heard, was bleeding from the ear. So at this point, you could see the uh, semi that was involved here, and it's completely off the freeway here and up against a guardrail. There's also the passenger vehicle that we see being lifted onto a wrecker as we speak now, and that one has uh, damage going all the way up to the back seat. You can see it pretty much pushed uh, the whole trunk portion of this car up to the back seat of this vehicle. So at this point, we are still waiting to hear from DPS as far as the injuries involved in this accident. But those who are going to be traveling in from California or west of uh, Tonopah can use both lanes because it is wide open in both lanes as we speak right now. Heidi, back to you. All right, Gibby, I'll pick it up from here. Thank you.